In this demonstration, we're going to show you how to implement a pull to refresh behavior in your mobile application. So we have a mobile application here that shows employees, and we need to allow you to refresh the data when someone updates it from outside the application. So to do that, we're going to use a pull to refresh component. Um, you can get this component by pressing the get component option over here, which would take you into our component exchange, where you can look up a component called pull to refresh. So pick up this component, don't pick the one with the arrow, and just click install component. Once the component is installed, you can go back to your page, scroll down, and you'll see the pull to refresh component over here. So you want this component to basically enclose the list component. So we'll put this component just above it, and then we'll move the pull, the list component into the default container of the pull to refresh. All right. The pull to refresh component itself has an event, which is called OJ refresh, and we're going to hook up an action chain to it and just use a fire data provider event to basically refresh the um, service data provider that is behind our list. Okay. And then we want to do one more thing, which is we want to tell our component that we finished the process for refresh. So to do that, we're going to go back and just make sure that our pull to refresh component has an ID. We'll call it PTR, for example, pull to refresh. And then in our action chain, we're going to add a component method call. For this PTR component, we're going to call the refresh complete action. And that's basically what you need to do. A um, few other things you would want to do just in terms of um, the layout here. In the list view component, look up the style. Okay. And you want to set the height to be 100%. Okay. Um, and then copy this because you also want to set it for the pull to refresh. This would allow you to handle the situation be better between scrolling and pull to refresh, and we'll also do it for the flex container. Like that. All right, so now let's run our application. can see information about employees. And we're finishing with James over here. That's the last employee that we have here. What we can do now is go over to our database and add another record from outside the application. So let's add the record um, 4455, for example. Click Add Row. Okay. Then we can go back into our application click and drag down, which would do a refresh. And now if we scroll down all the way to the end, we see the new employee over here. The pull to refresh worked.